Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle, welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys how to get easy hip fire kills here in the game. I know a lot of you guys are on your grind trying to get that gold camo, whether it be for the ARs, the SMGs, or any other gun. Uh, one of the challenges is to get hip fire kills, which can be quite tedious and pretty annoying. Uh, so I wanted to give you guys some tips that I use that have helped me to get the hip fire kill challenge very quickly and very easily so the first tip that I have for you guys is to play hardcore game modes uh, if you guys have noticed in modern warfare the hip fire spread is not very good it is actually much more difficult to get hip fire kills in this game than previous call of duties and that is something that is currently being worked on they've already done an update that has improved hip fire accuracy uh, and I'm, I'm assuming will continue to be improved considering it's still pretty bad um, but playing hardcore game modes is going to be your best shot at getting kills, especially for some of these ARs that are very, very bad at hip firing. Obviously, if you're playing core and you're hip firing, your bullets are going to go everywhere and it takes several shots to kill someone. Whereas if you're playing hardcore, it might only take one or two shots to take somebody out. You might even be able to hip fire someone from across the map. So playing hardcore is going to make getting hip fire kills so much easier. Uh, when it comes to game modes, I would play game modes that have uh, objectives. So let's say, for example, uh, you're playing hardcore domination this is going to be a great game mode for this or hardcore headquarters because you're going to have players going to the same position and players that aren't moving so it, let's say you're playing hardcore headquarters um, and, and you go camp the HQ you're going to have players that are laying on the HQ or running towards the HQ running in buildings it's going to be obvious to know where they're at and where you can take people out at close quarters gunfight range um, again same thing with hardcore domination people are going to be throwing their body on the B flag so if you camp near B you can get easy hip fire kills there as well so again playing hardcore game modes is going to be your best shot at getting these hit fire kills much quicker and much easier. The second tip that I have for you is to use a laser sight. Now the laser that I recommend is the 1MW laser and the reason for that is because that laser actually allows you to stay hidden uh, from enemies. So if you use any other laser in the game, uh, the enemies are going to be able to see the laser pointer uh, before they even see you, which gives away your position and makes it much more challenging to get those hip fire kills. So using this laser is going to be really, really clutch when it comes to getting hip fire kills. The third tip that I have for you guys is to use corners and doorways to your advantage. So this kind of goes back to when you're playing hardcore game modes. Um, if you're doing hardcore, if you're doing core standard, whatever it is that you might be playing, camping doorways and camping corners is going to be much easier to get these hip fire kills than if you were to just take people directly on every single time. I know that sounds kind of douchey because obviously no one likes people sitting in corners or, or sitting behind a door. Um, but when you're trying to knock out these challenges, this is really the best way to do it is to really just camp a doorway, whether it be in the middle of the map or near an objective. Um, it's going to be so much easier because then people will run by you they'll be really close you'll be able to get hip fire shots off before they even know where you're at and uh, and give yourself a much better opportunity to get a hip fire kill so again camping in corners and camping doorways to catch people off guard that are running by you is going to help you significantly when it comes to stacking up these hip fire kills for your challenge the next tip that I have for you is to use the boost slide uh, to get close to the enemy. So this is something that I've been doing a lot recently with some of the, the SMGs. Um, what you can do is if you are playing core uh, and you, you don't want to play hardcore, you can boost slide towards enemies that already see you. So this kind of counters what I just talked about in the last tip where I said you should camp corners and camp doorways. If you're not in that position and you end up having to take an enemy face on and they're not really close enough to get a hip fire kill, you can sprint at them and slide. You you can boost slide while hip firing. This works really well even when you're aiming down sights. This is a very popular tactic used uh, by players that are really good to be able to take enemies out that are shooting at them. But when you're trying to get hip fire kills, this also works very well. So uh, if someone is maybe, let's say they're like 10 yards away from you, a little bit too far to get a hip fire kill, you can run at them and slide and start hip firing. They're going to miss a lot of shots because obviously you're sliding under their bullets and you're going to give yourself that opportunity to get closer and uh, and have a much better chance of some of your bullets hitting them so that you can get that hit fire kill. So use that boost slide to your advantage when you do have to get in a situation where uh, it's one-on-one it's -on -one and you both see each other. 
The last tip that I have for you guys is to use extra ammunition. Uh, if you haven't noticed, obviously a lot of your shots aren't going to hit when you're hip firing. So whatever whatever gun you're using, make sure that you're using the maximum amount, amount of ammunition that you have. So um, with the MP5, I like running, I believe it's the 50 or 60 mag, however many uh, it goes up to. That way I have a lot of extra bullets and don't have to reload really fast. If you're using one of those ARs like the SCAR that only have like 20 shots a clip or a mag, it's going to be very very challenging to be able to get hip fire kills from a distance or any type of distance because you only have 20 shots to play with before you have to reload which means you need to hit like five of them if you're playing core um, so make sure that you are using extra ammunition on your weapons so that you can afford to shoot longer and give yourself a better opportunity to get the hip fire kill but these are the top tips that I have found to help me get hip fire kills much easier and much quicker in Call of Duty Modern Warfare if you guys have any questions about these tips or anything else to add make sure to leave them down in the comment section below i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful if you did please make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see all you guys in the next video